So how are you stopping you from being magical? Hi, I'm Glynise Hughes, and I get to travel this beautiful planet of ours, facilitating people in creating their dreams come true. How the heck did I get so lucky? So, have you ever wondered how you stop your magic? Like, what are you doing to stop the magic that's possible? Like, maybe you know, maybe you've always known that you are magical as fuck, and yet you stop it. You don't be it in all the ways you could be it. Well, here's the one that I would say for myself is over and over and over again. The one that I'm aware of, the biggest one in my world, and it may read for you too. Control. I know, right? Ouch! Yeah, so whenever we try to, whenever we have to control something, whenever we're choosing to control something or someone, that limits the magic that's possible. It limits our magic, but also limits the magic that's possible because that control, I mean, it's an energy, right? So control is a very heavy, dense energy. And I'll speak for myself. It's a very heavy, dense energy that is familiar. I know, right? We're familiar with energies, and that happens to be one that I'm very familiar with. Now, over the years, have I changed it incredibly? Absolutely. So I will give myself a big pat on the back for how much control I have let go of over these years, and... I wonder how much more there's to let go. I wonder how much more out of control I could be to be the magic. And I've noticed this in so many ways. And one of them was in the in the selling of our of our acreage is really I could really perceive that the the acreage was energetically telling me to stay out of it, which sounds really funny, but that was the energy. It was like, just stay back, just stay out of it. And so I did, I would, you know, sometimes of course, energetically and be like, no, I have to stay out. I have to stay out. And compared to six years ago, when we sold our other acreage, I did not do that. <laughs> I was energetically in there bulldozing and it wasn't wrong. There was still a lot of magic that occurred. Absolutely. So the sale of this acreage has been so much more ease, so much more space because I wasn't controlling. I was energetically kind of stepped back, which I get that the acreage knew it was the only way <laughs> to keep me like from controlling. But it gave me so much more awareness of how much can actually go on, so to speak, if I'm not pushing and forcing and controlling and making it happen, how much more magic is possible. And it's, it's a, to me, it's a dance because there is this space of, okay, I want this to happen. I want it to be like this and I want it to turn out like this. And that, that is such a familiar space for me to be in. And yet that's exhausting. That's tiring. So the more that I'm willing to be out of control, the more that I'm willing in a sense to energetically step back. So I don't mean step out. So I'm not pulling my energy out. I'm just energetically stepping back and I'm allowing in this case, the acreage to choose what it would like to choose rather than me decide what it should choose, what's the right thing to choose, what's the wrong thing and push and force and, and do all of that. It's just energetically stepping back and not disconnecting from or shutting off my awareness to just stepping back. Yeah, there you go. So I wonder, I wonder if there's some places and spaces in your life and living where you could be out of control. And that is where you could be all of the magic that you truly be, I wonder. So I invite you to a call that I've got coming up, which is called Business Tools for When You Want to Quit. It is on June 15th, 2023. If you're listening later, you can always purchase the, the downloads. The link will be above or below. Have a great week, sweet friends. I look forward to chatting again next week.